Now, back before I started coaching, before I had kids, I had some free time and a life. I also had a dream, along with my twin brother Chris and our grandfather, that we would build an airplane, fly it up to our cottage in northern Ontario, land over top of the cabin, out in the water, taxi back to the dock. You can see the project taking shape in the pictures behind me. Now, we were three years into a six-year build. We had thousands of man-hours invested. We clearly had thousands left to go, and we were frustrated and overwhelmed. Where do we go from here? And it was at that point that I realized, we realized, we had to stop thinking about the plane flying. Instead, we had to commit ourselves to the tiny details that collectively would add up to make the project move forward towards completion. What is important now? Focusing on the small details, like installing this bolt, terminating and fastening this wire, riveting this skin, allowed us to have those frustrations disappear because the path forward seemed manageable and we were able to focus in on those small tasks and get excited about completing them. What is important now? And as we focused on those tasks and they clicked off and we saw the plane progress, we were able to stay focused. And every evening working on it, we moved the project forward. Every night, every task was important. And that's what we focused on, not thinking about flying. Now, it's the same way of approach leading our hockey team. Proudly share the vision of what we want to achieve as a team, and then get to work focusing on those small details that collectively are going to combine to add up to a winning season. And one of those details that is a big part of any winning season is preparing your team to play with a lead. Okay. The coaches are some, like some of my players. We've been four and a half, five minutes now, and uh, I've already lost a few of you. But for those of you still with me, here are the main takeaways that I hope you can leave with today. And I've tried to condense playing with a lead into a few fundamental topics as well as a mindset. First one, we'd love to kill the game in the offensive zone. If we can do that, the other three aren't that important. Second, playing with controlled aggressiveness. Third, our team needs to know what to do on our retrievals and exits, so we spend as little time as we can in the defensive zone. Fourth, our players have to have situational awareness. And fifth, and most importantly to me, we need to build an expectation of winning. Now, playing with a lead in general has some qualities that I think are worth discussing. We need to adjust our risk reward depending on what the scoreboard tells us. Are we up by two or three goals, or is it just a one goal lead? Is there four minutes left in the game? Or are we down to 30 seconds and the goalie's pulled? We also need the guys to be unselfish. We need good line changes, guys going on the ice and coming off the ice at the same speed. Playing unselfish, making those team first decisions is critical as well. Getting pucks out of the blue line, making sure they don't stay in, get them over the blue line so we can set up in our neutral zone four check putting pucks in deep from the offensive blue line, not trying to be too creative. That's not the time. And lastly, we need to play with possession. In the Swedish league, the quickest way to ensure that you're going to lose is to be scared of playing with the puck. It's a possession-based league. We need guys that are confident and calm, ready to make plays and make the right plays. We have to be willing to play with the puck all the way to when that final buzzer goes. And if we don't have the puck, we sure have to be above it.